Thank you all for the celebration of life for our uncle Lex Brody. We bless everyone to come in here, especially his family. Our hearts is here as one. And Lex is here with us in a circle of love too, with the whole island and all the, all the surfers around the island to be with brother Duke and Mo and all our brothers out there. Much blessings to you and your son. Oh, Nani Kamakua Mau KK Kimeka Uhane No Keaku Au Mau Ho O Mai Kaipu Koke Au Koke La Au Scott, what a proper place to have the scattering, huh? Oh yeah, you know, one of the things that not everyone was aware of is Mr. Brody was actually one of the original Waikiki Beach Boys in the early 30s. You know, he gave uh, canoe lessons and surf rides to the, to the rich and famous of that day, and uh, one of his customers was actually Bing Crosby. So, very amazing, very amazing life. And, you know, one of the amazing things is just how much he impacted a lot of people's lives, you know, um, our community, the state, um, our business community, um, how he retired from the tire business and even ran for the school board and volunteered for the school board. His whole life he was pouring into others and he was dedicated to trying to help those he met grow and improve and become better people themselves. Um, but even people's businesses he came in contact with, he would try to help them with their businesses. You know, so he was an amazing man. You know, he planted, planted seeds wherever he went and Today you see a lot of fruit that has developed from the foundations and the seeds he's planted. And a lot of former employees showing up. Some of you said you don't even know who they are, huh? Oh yeah, it's, it's a blast from the past. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of folks that helped build the Lex Brody legend. Um, uh, met a lot of them that I know, and then some that were before my time. So it's been a lot of, it's been a lot of fun to see the old timers. We hear the same thing being repeated. You know, stern yet fair and and passed on, I guess, a legacy. Yeah, you're right. You know, he was, he was definitely old school. Um, he was very no-nonsense. He had a standard that he upheld, and uh, he didn't let nobody mess around with his level of customer service. And I uh, had the, the fortunate experience to be able to work with Mr. Brody and uh, get that implanted in me. Um, and that is a tradition that we'll, we are dedicated to continue forever, and I think our, our team is, is dedicated to do that with, and, Fortunately, we've been very successful with that, but we have Mr. Brody to thank, um, all the longtime Lex Brody's employees, and of course, all the customers and the community that have supported Lex and supported our company. Is this what you always expected? Because you knew it would come to an end one day, and, and you know, the, the beach, the perfect weather, scattering out where he used to hang out, is this pretty much what you thought? You know, I never really uh, thought about it. You know, I kind of figured Mr. Brody was going to live uh, I was thinking he was going to make it to 110. You know, it seemed like he was going to live forever. But yeah, we did. We did know eventually um, this time would come. It comes for all of us. But he's. This is definitely a day of celebration. He had such a full life. It's. It's very touching to see how he's impacted so many people. Um, so it's it's. It's it's nice to honor him today and just celebrate his memory. And do you feel a responsibility to really? keep the company going in, in the way he would want now? Oh, of course, you know, again, I, it, it appears the foundation that he's laid is one that uh, is, is extremely stable, extremely strong. You know, personally, I'm very dedicated to continuing it, but our, our team is as well. You know, our, our staff all recognize um, the legacy that Lex has passed down. You know, we're very fortunate to have that. And, and yes, we are very dedicated to, to maintaining that at all costs. Sandy, real quick, uh, how was it today uh, seeing everybody come out like this on a beautiful, perfect day? Oh, it just, uh, just, it makes my, it, it makes my heart so warm. It, it's unbelievable. And all the old friends and employees, to see them, many I haven't seen in 15 years. It's great. And my cousins and, oh, it's just, and a beautiful day in Waikiki. Beautiful day. Look at the tiny waves, but perfect shape. I couldn't ask for more.
And, and something we always hear is your dad lived a long, prosperous life. Oh, he did. No yeah. complaints, right? No, no complaints. Dad, dad was 98 years old, had, had a full, generous life. He gave more than he took, that's for sure. He was very, very good about it. If dad was here, what would he say today? He would say, thank you very much, is what he'd say. And he'd be, he'd be awfully impressed. I'm sure he's watching us now. I'm sure he is. You know, I was so blown away when I saw the Star Advertiser last night saying that Abercrombie had said we're going to run the state flags at half yep. mass today. Yeah. Oh, amazing. And by gully, you went by the fire station in Kalihi and it said half mass. Yeah, Bless that's them. great. Well, well oh, deserved. We have a beautiful signed certificate here from the Senate in remembrance of Lex Brody from Small Business Hawaii and the Senate. Thank you very much. Yes. Not a hard decision, Sam, huh? This no, one. no, and, it, and it's good that we get all of our colleagues together on a nonpartisan yeah. issue for a great man who did so much for Hawaii. There's a bunch of former Lex Brody employees here coming out to support their ex-boss and the forever boss, I guess we should say. Yeah. Trina and Bobby, tell us a little bit about working for Lex Brody. He taught us everything that we know about business today. I mean, we learned everything from him. How business etiquette, how to treat people, and it was a wonderful experience. Any memory of an event or, or talk with him? Oh, I used to work out in the Wakui, uh, Wapahu store, and he used to come out like once a week. And good boss, real open per person, nice guy working for. Did he ever give any of you scoldings? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! All the time! All the time! Yeah. Okay, you, you must have worked there how long ago? Oh, I think I started in 1975 oh, till about okay. 78. And uh, any remembrance of Lex? No, very nice. I worked upstairs with Mrs. Brody. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it was it was very nice. <laughs> so, although you know Lex is gone, it seems like a very happy moment as well. Very happy. Yeah. Yes. Left a lot of, um, oh, what should we say? Uh, the simple values, you know, just instilled everything that we do today. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Isn't that unbelievable? Yeah. Oh, hi, Robert. <laughs> now, did he treat the guy employees different than the uh, no. women employees? No, no. Mr. Brody was even killed with everybody. Everybody, if you didn't come to do your job, you know, he, he taught us the values of coming, working hard, and working hard for your money. He told us that, the value of uh, hard work. And if you work hard, he took good care of you. That's what I learned from Mr. B. Some of the Ohana here. And uh, your names and, and a little bit about your, your great relative Lex Brody. <laughs> uh, my name's Liz Campbell Milbauer. Uh, my pedigree is Hofgard, Crozier, Campbell, Milbauer. And when I think of my Uncle Lex, I think of stature. The man not only stood tall, his ethics, his goodness, I think that's something we should all remember and, and hopefully emulate. My name is John Milbauer. I'm married into the Hofgard Crozier Campbells. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've basically I met uh, Lex Brody back in probably 1970, 1969 on 701 Queen Street. Aloha. Caroline Brody, I'm um, his great granddaughter, um, Peter's daughter, and just always remember him. Uh, Alexander Brody, uh, named after my grandfather, just uh, used to have so much fun with him, surfing and, and camping and, and just uh, memories that don't last my whole life. Is that the picture of you surfing with the, yeah. your dad in Mex? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And we used to surf here all the time, so he'd call it the board meeting. We'd come out here and have our board meetings. and. And he was definitely chairman of the board, sitting the furthest out, always catching the biggest waves. And, uh, uh, you know, classic surfer. He learned to surf um, before fins, you know, on uh, redwood boards. He and uh, he tells stories of 
surfing out at Kings here uh, with Duke and, and Sam and uh, you know huge waves back in the day I guess they were bigger back then but <laughs> uh, but yeah they had some great stories it, you know one of the original Beach Boys and uh, so yeah. and then what a perfect day today huh? uh, super nice day yeah yeah right. well, thanks for sharing you guys okay you're welcome. All, right. all right here's a nice family portrait and your relation to Lex hi we're here we were friends of Lex through my dad who uh, knew Lex and his wife Evie my mother too back in the 30s they were here from Indiana and Lex was a great surfing teacher and a great friend of my parents and we all got to know him and they even came to Indiana and visited us a couple times. Where, so, do you, where do you live now, in Kailua? We live in Kailua, yes. And you guys drove all the way out here. I know it's not we too far. All, but. We drove all the way from the country to be here this morning. <laughs> We're representing her parents, my grandparents. These guys are, are going to go out on a board today. Yeah. Uh, we remember Lex and uh, Ann's father surfing and then bringing their board up and just leaving it in a rack on the beach. No lock, no key, no, no nothing. It's just a wonderful association back there. So Lex is carrying on with more Lex, generations. Lex is. Yeah. We need to surf together today. Yeah. <laughs>